Hey, what's up? It's Sam from Hi Viz LEDs Firetech Lights. Today I'm here with the Firetech Guardian in our DRT ambulance. This is one of the trucks that we're just doing some retrofits and upgrades on for some testing of reliability of these products. But today I'm going to show you how to install a Firetech Guardian on a truck that already has existing scene lights and explain the difference between our standard gasket that ships with the Guardian and the retrofit gasket and why it makes sense. The first step in installation is going to be taking off your old scene lights and then taking a look at what's behind these fixtures. So this is relatively straightforward. Back the old screws out. You'll want to make sure power is disconnected from the truck uh, before you start working on this thing. So th these lights are not connected right now, so we'll have to wire them. But if this is a truck that's in service and you've got wiring to the lights, go ahead and disconnect the batteries before you start working on the rig. All right, so the old light is now freed from the body. And what you'll see on this fixture is that there's a big hole flare or reflector. So this is just an older style fixture, but if you've got something like the 900 series that has a big deep dish reflector and a big hole cut out, similarly, this is where you'll need the gasket kit. So let me just cut this old wiring, pull the light off, and I'll show you what we do. But if you look at the FireTech Guardian, the way it sits in this gasket, or in this bezel, is that you can see through it. So if you just look, look this way, you can see through the top side. So that allows for air to vent up through the housing, but what happens if it rains, water would come through and flow inside. So if you're building a new truck, this is the rubber um, stopper right here that keeps the water from getting inside of the rig. So when you build a new truck, you cut a hole that only matches the diameter of this piece, and then you cut your four mounting holes. But on a retrofit kit, if you installed this right over this hole, water would flow down through the light, back of the light fixture and then end up in the body. So I'll show you the difference. This would be your standard gasket. So water would flow down the back of the light and right into that hole. But if you use our FireTech retrofit gasket kit, this gasket kit covers that hole. And this part here clips over the back of that little rubber bushing on the back of the light and keeps water from entering inside. And when you mount this thing tight, it secures tight enough against this body that water won't run behind the gasket. So you can install over fixtures that have an old reflector cutout. So before you set this thing up on the truck, you'll line this thing up. But this piece here actually pushes down and underneath of the bushing on the back of the light. This will prevent water from getting on the inside. Just take a flat screwdriver and work this gasket around until it pops all the way in place. That will give you a completely waterproof seal. There we go. See how now it's nice and flat and flush across? When this thing bolts onto the truck, we'll be in perfect shape. So when you're ready to install this thing, use your bezel as the template. You can line it up on the body where you want your new fixture to install. Make sure it's square, measure twice, cut once. Mark your holes. and then you can pull this thing off, drill your holes, then you can mount the fixture in place. So once your holes are drilled, the next step is gonna be installing your isolators. These isolators prevent the hardware from the light fixture from coming in contact with the body. This prevents galvanic corrosion. So you've got stainless steel hardware into an aluminum body. So you just take and pop these things in place. You can use a rubber mallet at the back of the drill, just push it in place. Uh, once it's set, then you can line your gasket up on your bezel up, the fixture on, and tighten it down. The last couple of turns you'll want to do by hand so you don't crack this piece of plastic, but the good news is, in the FireTech scene light, the screw never touches the lens, so you never have to worry about cracking or damaging the fixture. All right, so the last step is hooking up the scene light electrically. Just hook your white to power, flat to ground. The Guardian Elite is 125 watts, the Guardian is 75 watts, so make sure your wiring can support it. And as you line this thing up, one of the tricks is to pull the light fixture back a little bit from the bezel to allow some light in. And then just look inside until the holes line up. Once they line up, you can drop your fixture right in place and install with a manual screwdriver. The last little bit, just gonna be hand tight. Get it nice and snug, give it a shake. She's in good shape. Now you just hook your wiring, fire the switch, test everything out, and this thing's installed.